I had a pretty decent sleep. It's, uh, it's well past 8 o'clock now. Got up a few times, but was able to go back to bed and sleep in, so that's nice. Woke up to a pretty pretty beautiful morning here. There's some mist on the water. Caught the tail end of that. And uh, birds singing. There's a breeze. There's minimal bugs. 90% blue sky. And it's not too hot. So, things are looking up. I'm just going to get this fire prepared. Get some breakfast cooking. Brand new fire still hasn't been used at all. Well, my plane is coming around to see how I'm doing. Doing just fine, thanks, bud. Doing just fine, thanks. See you tomorrow. So I'm going to put my normal oatmeal in. I also have these freeze-dried blueberries. I didn't realize there'd be blueberries abundant, but anyways, there's not here at the site. So regardless, it's a good thing I brought them. Got normal oatmeal in there. I've got my blueberries. I got this Kia quinoa super greens nonsense. And I also I'm going to throw in a splash of peanut M&Ms to spice things up. Might be too much for this little little lid. Well, we're waiting for the porridge to thicken up. Let's uh, try our, one of these ready crisp bacon's. I know I need meat in the morning as well as oatmeal because it just doesn't stick with me. So I'm trying this. I've had it before. I'm just trying to get a, trying it again. Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm. I could live with that. I'll eat three pieces today. With my big oatmeal. We'll have a bunch left over. Probably, I think, six pieces left over. Mmm. There we go. Can't tell me you don't want that. I know you're jealous. good. It's really good. True story. The sparks! Mmm! There's four pieces here. So I'll have eight pieces left. After nine, no, yeah, it's after nine. My well, watch is still an hour behind. I only use it when I go camping, so I never really fix it. <laughs> I can't remember how to fix it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna take my time here, get packed up after I'm done eating and. Mosey along on our way. I'm feeling good. This is a good this is a good feeling of a trip. Just pecking my way along.
There's a method to putting this stuff in as well. I don't want to put, I want to put the food near the bottom because it's the heaviest, but I don't want to put it right at the bottom. I want to put it like a quarter of the way up and near my back. So first I'll go tent, sleeping pad, or sorry, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, because I don't need those at all until camp. I'll situate them so that they're tucked in there flat as possible. And next up, I'm gonna slide my tent poles down to one side. And there's a pretty big uh, hole down there. So we stuff, stuff the jacket in. Now I'll put the bag of food down at the bottom, close, closest to my back. Put my clothes in front of that to block it from falling forward. We got this heavy bag here down there too. Slide the sit pad behind everything. Start filling in some nooks and crannies down here. Almost done. Well, you got to remember we have to leave room for the camera and the tripod to go in here after all this is already in here. A tripod is small enough where I can lay it sideways on the top, but a lot of the times I do stuff it down the side. And that's it. It's really not that heavy. It can't be more than 30 pounds. So you see what I mean when I'm talking about, well, if you watch the trip video, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm talking, so when I mention the canoe hitting the top of the, the seat hitting this, I think it's this, it's hitting, it's nothing in my bag. The bag isn't overly packed, packed overly high. Anyway. Ready to rock. I came across a huge crash in the woods. That's something run away, I think a bear. And also the most aggressive grouse you will ever imagine. He had his family with him. He flew at me, dive bombed me twice on the way there and then on the way back. I just was very proud of him, you know? Just protect your family, bro. I'm like 15, 100 times the size of the guy. He's dive bombing me, hissing, hissing at me too. I've never heard one hiss before. But you can hear all the little babies go beep, 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 in the, in the woods. And then there was a, another one. I imagine the mom, another bigger one. I didn't know that they, that they nuclear family did up. Okay, I'll leave. Just on the 650 right now, over into Esma. Pretty awesome trail, well taken care of. Nice and flat, very Algonquin-esque. I keep coming across this, rocks that have been flipped over. That's a decent, substantial sized rock. There's a mosquito on my nose. I imagine it's from bear. Bear's looking for ants and worms and grubs and whatnot. Uh, oh, we're getting there, I hope. I hope. Beautiful. What a picturesque lake. Clouds are setting it off and everything. Beauty. Beauty, Esma. I love it. Love it, this is really nice. I gotta show you something though, which makes it not so nice. And this could have been from winter, but still, toilet paper, fisherman's friend, 
and toilet paper. Uh, like I get it in the winter time it's hard to you know what are you gonna do pack out your, your toilet paper but still you gotta get it off the beaten trail at least there. All right back for the canoe and then on to Esma. Well I stopped for lunch had a sandwich. I'm just trolling at the end of Esma here we're looking at those clouds, some are getting pretty dark. I got two portages, two small ones, a couple hundred meters each to get over into Upper Mace. And that's where I'm going to camp tonight. So I think I should probably get a move on now just in case. I don't want to be setting up in the rain. I want to be prepared for the thunderstorm. I'm checking out a couple campsites here. The, the campsite I had in the middle of the lake that I had lunch on, it was no good. It was okay. It was great for what me and John had, but for for this place, it's no good. This place has awesome campsites. The first one was really nice off the portage, and this one here seems pretty decent too. But uh, no fish, man. Not a bite. Not a bite. John, I know, caught Lakers or Splake in Upper Mace. He was catching them in a pretty good. Sp at a pretty good pace and he told me exactly where to get them that's the thing he had a bathymetry meter or whatever it is uh, to figure out where the depth the depth is in the lakes and I don't have that and I wouldn't know how to use it in the first place anyway but he told me exactly where to go in that lake so if I can't get them there it's all me uh, maybe summertime but I think he went in the summer too if I'm not mistaken but anyways we all know how I am I am trying but again this is the middle of the summer I don't know where the deep spots are for the trout uh, you saw the first day I caught that bass, like the second cast, but we'll get into Upper Mace and I will fish in the spot where John told me and we will cross our fingers. I know they're there, so I'll, t I'll, I'll spend my time in that one spot. Here I am searching still, I'm trolling, I'm looking, I, I, on the last lake I didn't know either, but there I know where they are. So he located them. We'll try and get some. Alright, off to the port. Yeah, that campsite looks pretty decent and open. I had to, uh, I had to just come paddle past this point here, just in case. Just troll past it, and I'll troll back past it and hook around to the portage. I, uh, it just looks promising, you know. There's Lakers and Brookies in here, or so the map says. This is the first lake I've been on, other than Flack, the, the put-in lake that has Lakers on it, in it. Um, anyways, I'll just paddle around. Gorgeous lake. I go right through the narrows there, and then I'll start fishing. It's much too shallow here. It's only a few feet deep. Finally opening up. Looks to be a very pretty lake. More of those poo butterflies on that rock there. Poof, huh? This lake is just dotted with islands. Oh, we got up into Upper Mace. I'm paddling around talking to the camera. Oh, look at how beautiful the rocks are. I'm like singing songs, being all loud and nonsense. I haven't seen anyone. And I look over and I see these big orange bags. I'm like, what? So I paddle on over and I met Ryan and Alex and they knew who I was. They're like, uh, we talked for like, what, five minutes and then, then they're like, ah, oh, funny seeing you here. I'm like, you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, they give me some good tip, fishing tips, and they, they mirrored what John said. These guys watch John, they know him as well. And just right over there where I was fishing 
is the spot. You said you pulled out a few? Yep, got some Lakers and a couple of small splake, or actually one pretty good splake. Yeah, you showed that picture of it. it was a monster. Yeah, a couple good ones. So he's giving me fishing tips. He's gonna, I'm gonna buy a lure off him. He said he's gonna give it to me, but I'm gonna buy it from him. I can't, I can't just take it. And, and, and we're gonna spend tonight and tomorrow morning trying to fish there and get a, get a fish. You said you got them pretty regularly, no? Yeah, we caught probably five each day. See, if I can get one. Yeah, there's some misses too. Even. Yeah, right. Broke yeah. off on one. So. But it was mostly him. I only <laughs> caught like two or three. And then he, what, you catch like nine fish now? Maybe? Yeah, Ten probably fish? something like that. So, I got four this morning. That's how I normally am. Two yesterday. Yeah. I'm not good. Out of yeah. the same canoe, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Literally. Such a piss off. Yeah. It's he's so like, <laughs> he's fishing on that side. I'm on the other side, so we're like four feet apart. <laughs> it's infuriating. <laughs> storm is here. Well folks, the last you saw of us was last night. We um, we didn't film much. We tried no. to fish too, but <laughs> yeah. we just got talking and started laughing and having fun, talking about stories and yeah, it was a good night. We uh, the guys showed me where to fish. We all went out together. No luck at all. And before I was here, you guys were pulling in what five a day you said or so something like that. Yeah. 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 They said they had a couple been... personal bests. And... <laughs> just just a couple PB. Right. They said you, shows right up. when you came in and tainted the waters, <laughs> you weren't catching any. Exactly. <laughs> right where they were, they said they hadn't been skunked when they fished in that spot. We were right there. I used this lure, same lure they're using to freaking get them and everything. No go. Nobody got them. So, listen, <laughs> it's not just me, but I am I am definitely the bad omen. I know that. Um, we're gonna split up ways now. Where are you guys headed? We're going down to Lower Mace, and then we're going to make our way over to Claim Lake, and probably stay there for the night. Right, and I'm, so we're going to completely go separate ways. I'm going back the way I came to hop into a, a couple different lakes, and I'm going to head out tomorrow morning. These guys are going to head out tomorrow morning as well. But yep. uh, I had a really fun time with you guys last night. I really appreciate you guys having yeah, me here. Yeah, no, it was fun. Crashing sure. the party. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was good. It's nice to uh, meet somebody out here and yeah. you know have some laughs and have a nice fire. And, Definitely. Yeah, yeah, it was good. So we're going to try to get together again, so uh, maybe you guys will see these guys on the on the channel later on. So thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Joe. Thanks, man. Have a good trip. We'll yeah. see you. Yeah, you too, man. Appreciate it. Cool. Thanks, guys. Well, that was very cool. Super excited to meet those guys and hang out with them and tell some stories by the fire and just relax. So the, uh, the storm, as you saw this morning, wasn't so much of a thunderstorm lots and lots of rain all night long some thunder uh, but no lightning and there's some blue in the sky today so today was supposed to be the bad day for the thunderstorm when there was it's a, it, we didn't get up till 11 it's it's 11 25 now we got up at like 10 45 or something like that um out of the, out of our tents and stuff i have a decent travel day today so I think I'm gonna actually put the pedal to the metal and get over into my next lake. And I'll call that my last lake for the trip. I'll, I'll do three nights. I'll go, come out tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, we've got some decent distance to go. And then I'll fish in Bubble Wash, and that Bubble Wash is the lake I'm sleeping on. I'll fish in that lake tonight and see what's up. Those guys had a, a bathymetry thing on their phone. They showed me a couple spots. 
in um, in Bobo Wash where I potentially could fish. So who knows? I don't. I'm not holding my breath for any fish anymore. But um, it's okay. It's a good recon trip, and it's good to know that like in the fall and in the spring, the fish will be much easier to catch. And I know they're here. These guys were catching them. John's caught them. So um, regardless, this is a good trip. This is a very good trip. I'm having a lot of fun doing a lot of different things. Don't mind me, boys. There's a bear over there on the rock. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. It's well past noon and I'm still on uh, Upper Mace. Campsite's right there. i just been fishing this area. There's uh, it felt fishy. It smelled fishy. I, th I thought I could get it. I, I really put some time in there. It was no go. So we're going to get going now. I really, really wish that one of these updates would be like, look, I caught a fish. Believe me, I wish that more than you do. <laughs> All right, here's the portage. It's the longest of the day at, a, at 450 meters. I'm going to attempt to single carry it because those guys said it's pretty flat and well taken care of. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Well, they did it. It was very unpleasant. Uh, anyways, I did it. Now I'm on 10 mile. Can't fish on 10 mile. It's a fish sanctuary, apparent, sanctuary apparently. So we're just gonna skip right through this lake. This water is just the clearest. <laughs> such a pretty lake. There's only one portage off of 10 miles, which is that big lake. And we got a couple more portages to do to get to Bobo Wash. And then we'll see. Let's see how I feel. I might, I might continue on. I gotta stop and get a snack really soon. Well, we're finally on Bobo Wash Lake. This is the lake that I wanted to get to throughout the whole trip because I heard it was very pretty. I didn't hear anything about fishing on it, but I heard it was very pretty. So, I don't know that I'm going to stay here. We're going to go up to that campsite in front of us, get something to eat. I got to go to the bathroom as well. That's 4.42. I said I would get here by 5 at the latest. Um, I still have plenty of time, and it looks like I can get over into Sam Reed with only two one, 125 and 170 meter portages and with only a little bit of paddling. Once I get on to Sam Reed, there's no more portages I can sleep on Sam Reed. And then in the morning, I'm that much closer to the car, which is going to be like maybe a three hour, four hour paddle out to the car from there, doing a double carry. I think that's what we'll do. Pretty awesome camp. Nice flat rock, good jumping rock. This camera's almost dead. I didn't want to pull up my DSR, so eating in the boat, took a poop up there, heading on. What a pretty lake, man. Certainly with one to come back to the camp at. You know what'd be really cool is putting that new TP tank that I have, the uh, Silmylon one with the little 
holding stove and late late fall here where even snow possibly come back in here with that just plan on double carrying the whole time so we put a lot of that uh, for gear and time and all that but man this is such a cool lake honestly it just keep it just keeps getting nicer well, this lake is nothing short of spectacular itself either the old bald mountain rock Slick. On my map, there's a campsite on a peninsula, so I'm gonna go see if I can get that one. That was pretty awesome. I got a fish on. I got a fish on. There's no way I have a fish on. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I thought I gave up. I gave up. I don't want to move the camera around, but trust me when I tell you I got a fish on. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Oh yeah, boy. Fish in the boat! Fish in the boat! <laughs> oh my god! We're gonna end it off on a good note. We're gonna eat that for supper. Oh, baby. <laughs> I gave up. I had given up. I was just trolling because... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the last night. Right before I get to camp. Man. Okay, I gotta dispatch this guy. Oh man, I'm so happy. Now, I would have absolutely loved to get that catch on camera for you guys, but not as much as I wanted to get this fish in the boat. I almost lost my fishing rod as it was because I was so hyped up. Reminiscent of Tamagami. Hey Kyle. Okay, you guys ready? I don't know what it is, if it's a laker or a splake or I think a splake. It has spots. I don't know. It's a lake trout or a splake. I think a splake. Either way, it's dinner. Perfect eating size. Look at it. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It hit hard. It hit hard. Okay. This is supper. Let's go to camp. Um, I'll go try and find that camp on the peninsula. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I sure can't. I honestly had given up. Old Lenny T came through in the clutch once again. Freaking Lenny T number two, Len Thompson. Okay, this is going. Um, no, no, it's not going away. I'm going to troll again. And if I can get another one, I'll throw it back. But it will be fun enough. It'll be worth it. Had another one on. I think I lost and turned the camera on. Oh, I had another one on. Oh, buddy. Lenny T in the lake here. I'm gonna cast again over there where I just had the hit. Oh man, that's exciting. It hit like a ton of bricks again. I, I, I reached over I, I, for one second to turn the camera on. That's why I didn't try to turn the camera around last time. Hit like a ton of bricks, man. I might even want to, I might even take another pass here. Well, they'll go on the second and third pass, but that's okay. I'm super stoked to have this one. One Fish Joe, Legend of One Fish Joe continues. I guess too, if you count the bass on the way in for three days ago or whatever. But uh, imagine if I didn't come to this lake. Imagine if I stopped at Bow Wash, which I was going to do. I wouldn't have got that lake trout. I think it's a lake trout. I wouldn't have got that trout. And maybe I would have caught one on Bubble Wash, but I didn't passing through. So all is well in my book. And uh, I see a campsite right ahead. I'm gonna go see if it's suitable. And if it is, I'm gonna post up there. I'm gonna jump in the lake and go swimming because it's super hot. Even though it's 6.30, it's 
sun is hotter than it's been. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we'll get this bad boy fish crisped up and cooked up. And that'll be the icing on the cake on this just awesome trip. Just amazing weather, a super cool spot. Met some cool dudes, had some alone time. Caught the splake, just loving life. There she is, home for the night. All right, before I did anything here, I got my fish cleaned up. There's my booty, fat sack of fish for dinner. So I do want to get a swim in before it gets too chilly. Let's do that now. We'll tuck this in the water somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Shaded water. running off my, my gold all right we're gonna jump in skinny dipping Woo. Mm, shoes would be helpful dangerously close all right so there's a rock there if I jump out there, I should be okay. Hope nobody comes. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta jump out there. Well, that's refreshing. Woo. Holy smokes. Oh, Wolfman don't have nards. Wolfman don't nards. I'm gonna be careful. Where I'm swimming, I don't want to bang into these rocks yet. There's a rock there. <sighs> Running out of breath. Running out of breath. Check, 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 check. Got my tent set up there drying out from the rain last night. There is some firewood here. It, it rained pretty hard last night and this was laying here. It is cedar so it might be alright, we'll see. fine we can start yeah that's dry that's dry as a bone we can start the fire with it get all this split down a little bit and then uh, yeah this wet stuff will burn after too so cool like my bushcraft outfit legs as a signal people across the lake to shine the, the sun off them SOS it's been there for all of 15 minutes completely dry we'll go back into the shade here and set her up for good
thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. Alright, I'm gonna throw that stuff in there. And I guess I'll uh I'll do some more fire prep. I'm not too I can wait, it's 7 30, I can wait to eat. It's beauty, man. Look at this, 7 30 at night. It's a gorgeous day. The day that was supposed to be the thunderstorm turned out to be the best day. Swam for the first time, caught the first fish. Traveled the most. Today felt like the most of a canoe, most real day of a canoe trip. Told you I'd tell you guys a little bit more about this knife. It's a Sammy Puko. This is just an elastic band wrapped around it, made by Jonathan Deering. It's 330 seconds with a tapered tang. It gets tapered down to really not much at all. So very thin but very nimble. Very nice knife. I'm sure it's plenty stout to, to baton some of this down. Just gonna take it, quarter it off. I'm not gonna try to go down the middle. Cedar, so it's got lots of knots. We'll try to go around them as much as possible. This is where our little axe comes in handy, but I didn't want to carry it. Yeah, see, there's a big. I'm not going to try to do it through that. It's not not that important. I have other pieces. And I'll go down the middle with this one. There's a split already. I don't know how careful I have to be with this thing. There we go. Oh, boy, I am. Smells beauty. Smells beautiful. You see I got a split going but it's caught at the bottom. So I stuck a piece of wood in there. It's a wedge. Should be able to just pry it. Nice. Look at that's what I mean. So that's a knot, which would have been a branch coming through and it pulled, pulled out instead of breaking. That's how strong they are. I just don't want to chip up my blade. It's brand new. I, this is the first outing it's been on. I know it's not going to break or whatever, but look at it. Can't be one stick in it. What are you doing, Joe? Uh, come on. There you go. There you go. Alright, let's oil up this fryer pan. Oh, she's not even remotely level. Oh, buddy. We're going to be doing all right tonight. Hello, friend frog. I will call you Buell. Buell the frog. Even though you are a green frog. You shall call me Sir, Sir Joseph of Windsor. 
Sir Joseph of Windsor, I say? Straight bugging. Still getting better. This is a prime view, prime campsite for a sunset here on Sam Reed Lake. All right, we'll see you later, bud. Now the crescent moon is out. It's the icing on the cake. I'm literally sitting with my chair in the campfire smoke, and the mosquitoes are just hammering me. Like I was saying, like I don't know, an hour ago they weren't so bad, and they're not normally for out, throughout the day. They're not so bad, but at night they're really out in full force. Nothing keeps them off. Bug spray sitting in the smoke. Uh, so I'm just going up over by the. The edge of the land here where the breeze is a little bit better. The edge of the land. The shore. Shoreline. There you go. I think I'm going to go lay down in bed. It's after 10, so I will uh, get with you guys in the tent. It's crazy how many mosquitoes can get in when you get in and out of it. Stinking tent. Can you hear him? He's right out there. Anyways, all those mosquitoes you see are on the outside. They're stuck underneath the fly, but outside of my tent. So, I killed all the ones that came in here. I'm going to hit the hay. See you guys in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning. Considering I slept in until 11 o'clock yesterday morning, I only slept till about 5 o'clock this morning. So it's just after five, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna paddle out here in the sunrise. Hopefully, hopefully, getting the sunrise on video for you guys. There's a mist on the water. This is a cool feeling. Kind of sketchy walking through these portage trails in the dark. <laughs> I can't see much more than you can see there in the camera. There's light above, but in the woods here, she dark. Hear the frogs? Come off the portage trail. And this is the portage still. Looks like I'm paddling through the trail for a ways. Paddling through the portage trail, portage trail. Portage trail. Yes, I'm paddling through the old portage trail. Good job, Joe. Oh, look at that. Joe! 
That's the end. Well, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Wow, there is a red sky. Pink sky. Pink guy. Those are fine. Wow, check that out, eh? Man, what a gorgeous morning. I'm on a little nothing no name lake. Gonna hop over into my last portage, and that's the big one. That's 11. 40, 1,140 meters. And after that, home free, we're on Flack Lake. So I'm gonna make sure I eat some food, drink some water before I go to this canoe to do that portage. Made it. Out onto Flack Lake now. Still have to go get back for my canoe. That was a rough portage over a kilometer but the lake the big lake here is dead calm so that'll be good for paddling out Almost out of here. A long journey home. I'm a happy boy. Last few steps are right in front of me. Did it. Did it. Well, folks, this trip was awesome. Everything that needed to happen happened. I went through some hardships at the beginning. Not anything big, but just coming to the realization that I can't single carry and overcoming that and that was fine. I had great weather, good fish, not good fishing, but good fish when I did get it. Uh, met some new friends. Again, spent some, sol spent some alone time, had some good solitude. Got a good feel for this park, or this place, it's not a park. Got a good feel for this place and I'll be able to bring some friends here down the road to show them do a couple of trips here. So we're gonna wrap this video up. I am gonna, I'm almost to the lodge there where I parked. I'll keep you with me to let you know if my car starts or not. It'll be the last piece of adventure for the trip. I'm really just hoping it starts. I'm really just hoping it starts. If not, I'm sure there's someone at the lodge there. They're not open this year, but I'm sure there's someone lives there. I'm sure they can help me out. I got jumper cables and I do have like a little charger thing. If the charger thing doesn't work, we'll be going to ask them for a boost. But uh, yeah, I'm sure everything will be okay. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Now for the real test, can I drive home or not? Oh, I think it's gonna work. 
That's not so bad. Alright folks, thank you very much for coming along this trip with me. I had an awesome time. Be sure to tune in soon. I'll have another video up very soon. Thank you very much for everything. Have a good one.